Hi, my name is Mr. Rudelman, but you can call me Mr. R for short. In our first lesson, we're going to take a look at what does multiplication mean. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at a real-life example of where multiplication may be used. Some of you probably recognize this as being a chessboard. But then there are other students that probably recognize this as being a checkers board. Well, the good news is both of you are correct. Now, as we take a close look at the board here, what we see is alternating light squares and dark squares as we work our way across. Light, dark, light, dark, etc. The question that we may be asked is, how many squares do we have on a chessboard that are just this size? The good news is, Multiplication gives us a quick method for figuring out how many of these squares we actually have. And this will be a problem that we will later take a look at, obviously in a later lesson. But let's go ahead and get started. First, some basics. We all are familiar with this type of problem. We all know that 2 plus 3 is 5. However, if we change this plus sign, so it looks like an X. This now is read as 2 multiplied by 3, or 2 times 3. What does multiplication really mean? Well, multiplication is quick addition of a certain number starting at that number. So, let's try this. We can think of this as meaning two threes. So it would look like this, 3, 3. Add these together, we get a total of 6. Instead of thinking of this as being two threes, we can think of this as being three twos. Add these together, we get a total of 6. So we can say that 2 times 3 is actually 6. However, what I want to have us do is take a deeper look at this kind of a problem to get a more fundamental understanding of what multiplication means. I want you to always remember that the word multiplication can be replaced by the phrase groups of. Let's try that here. Two, instead of multiplication, we can write groups of. Three. Now, what does two groups of three mean? Well, let's start this way. I'm going to cover up the two, and let's draw a group of three. For a group of three, we'll have three dots enclosed in an oval, a group of three. However, we need two groups of three, so I need another group. Here's our second group of three. Now, in the whole diagram, we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dots. So 2 times 3 equals 6. And that is one way of representing multiplication. Any questions? <laughs> I know that that's not going to work well. Let's try another example. Here we have 4 times 2. Let's do the same thing. 4 groups of 2. Well, what does 4 groups of 2 look like? Let's cover up the 4 for a moment. Here we have groups of 2. Let's draw a group of 2. Now, we need 4 of these groups. We have one group. four groups of two. Count the dots. We find that four times two equals eight. Okay, what I want to do next is give you an example to try to work through on your own, just this way. So 
So please pause the video and then give this a try. Then start it back up when you're done. Okay, hopefully you have finished. Let's go through this and see what the answer should be. We have five. For multiplication, we're going to write what? Groups of. Two. So five groups of two. Cover up the first number, groups of two. But we will need five groups. Hopefully your picture looked like that. Count the dots. And hopefully you got an answer of 10. If you did, you may want to give yourself a gentle imaginary pat on your shoulder. All right, let's try one more. Please again, copy this down, try this, of course, pause, and then we'll go through this. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hopefully you found that three times four equals 12. Let's see how that works. Times means groups of. I want to go ahead and draw a group of four dots. And then three of those groups. Count the dots. Total of 12. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to do now is try the first worksheet on your own and then have your parent or your tutor check it and see how you did.